Hey, Tyson France here with Motion Revolver, showing you how to import a logo into an After Effects project or a template that you may have downloaded online. Uh, to illustrate the example, I'm using the Elegant Extrusion project, uh, which you can download at videohive.net. Um, importing files into After Effects, whether it's a logo or uh, a movie clip or a picture, no matter what file it is that you're working with, you import things in the exact same fashion, uh, no matter what file type. So what you want to do is click in your project window here, and I'm using uh, After Effects CS5. Um, this is the same process no matter what version of After Effects you are using, so uh, whether it's CS3, CS4, CS5, or CS5.5 or above, um, importing files uh, is the same across um, all of the versions. So we click in, in our project window here, and we can do a few things. We can go up to File, Import, File, or we can hit Command-I. I'm on a Mac, obviously. Uh, I guess on a, on a Windows machine, it would also be Command. i um, not really familiar with Windows these days, but um, we'll just go to File, Import, File, and uh, we'll navigate to our logo file. And uh, remember, uh, with a lot of these After Effects project files, you're going to need um, an alpha channel in your logo file. Um, so make sure that there is no white or black background um, married to, to uh, the logo. Uh, typically, you do not want to work with a JPEG logo. Uh, you usually want to work with um, something of a vector format, such as um, an AI, uh, um, Adobe Illustrator file, or an EPS file or a Photoshop file, or PNG, something that's going to hold a transparency. So I've navigated to my logo, and uh, I'm going to highlight that and click Open. And that's going to import into my project window. So now the file is now located with my, my After Effects project. I can then place it into the correct comp. Now again, I'm using Elegant Extrusion here as an example to show you what to do. Um, but depending on what, what After Effects project you may be working with, wherever it's asking you to insert the logo, uh, you just navigate to that section. In this case, here we have a folder called Insert Your Logo and Tagline. And then uh, we have a comp that says Your Logo. So we're going to open up that comp, and uh, we're going to drag the file that we just imported. Actually, first of all, we're going to get rid of the old logo. So we're going to highlight these two layers here and delete them and then drag our new logo down under this dust layer and uh, that's a little small we probably want to scale it up so um, since we have a vector format we're gonna click the uh, continuously rasterize um, attribute which allows us to scale a vector asset uh, no matter how big we want it to be um, that looks about right something in there so that's how we dropped in our new uh, logo. Again, you know, this pertains to the Elegant Extrusion project, but um, no matter what After Effects project you are working on, the steps are the same. You just go up to File, Import, File, and then navigate to the file that you want to import, and it will show up in your project window. And then you can drag the, the uh, files from this window into any comp that you may be working on. So just to show you how this updated, now that we've added our new logo, we'll go to uh, our final pro uh, product here. Uh, click on quarter here so it doesn't take so long to render. And there we go. We have our new tagline, or our, our new logo, sorry. Uh, we have our new logo inserted into the project. So hopefully that was helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns or comments, as always, please feel free to email us uh, at motionrevolver.com. Just go to the website and uh, you can use the contact form there if you have any additional questions. Thanks for watching and good luck.